spot though. I'm gonna try onto the visage. Same sort of group that made it the last time around. There's going to be the familiar stuns though to break it up. Uh, still a waveform in from Mini. The Italiano Gangster lives, but he's gonna stun up the arms trying to come over though, but he saw guts the last second, so decides against pushing in. But RCY is into the fight. He does have Firefly, but I don't think he has Lasso. No, he does not, but they're gonna try it anyway. Avalanche onto three. Hane goes down. Serem. Well, not as easy to kill off with the raindrops there, so he does survive for a little while extra, but now B9 is going to get involved here, and they don't want to be here anymore. It is time to go. They would love the RCY kill, but I'm not sure if it's worth actually going for. His Guts and Mini are going to try to turn around. They're looking to actually take the Tombstone out, but Stonebank comes over. It's a full-on party on Bank, though. Yeah, he's got time left. He's going to reset this fight. Guts, though, is still going in the river. He's getting a couple hits on the Yarn, but quickly realizes Radiant there's too many heroes here. That's not a full fight. They can't afford to take it do fall back, but Italiano Gangster is sending those familiars forward. He could get the stun down on the Heiko. There's the first. Uh, I'm not really sure they even needed the second. Heiko gets taken down, which means they do save that. They could lock down Serem and the Morphling here. They get the stun on the both. Mini in some trouble, trying to fight his way out of this. Wave farming forward. Still looking for the kill. Looking for Italiano Gangster, but he resummons the familiars. Gets the stuns in again. It's not going to be enough to save him, though. Not enough to kill off Mini, who is... No, hold on, Mini! Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Well, he might have to care now. Stun's coming in, and they get the kill. Serem, that's unfortunate. That was, uh, he was inside the actual minimal distance, so they weren't able to get any damage there, but they still find the kill on the stone bank. Lasso, eventually, gonna be used here just to make sure RCY gets something out of this, and... I was going to say before, this was a pretty solid trade, but if they lose Guts here too, then it suddenly gets a little less valuable for them. Still a kill on the stone bank, and no runes need any source of gold they could possibly find, but Guts still really is not on much of a recovery right now as well. Oh, hello, Hane. And goodbye, Hane. He is taken down. Three. Now Yarn just broke the smoke. Here comes the teammates. They're TPing in. They've got Heiko first. They're going to stop his hook stomp, but they're actually looking for Hane over to the side. They're not really doing this as quickly as I think they wanted to, but they will find that kill. It does cost them Yarn, though, but now RCY is in. Can he get off a lasso on anyone? He doesn't have it, so never mind. But he is just tracking with the damage, trying to push it onto Serem. Dropping him low. Is it enough to get the kill? No, it is not. That's because his teammates are chasing after Mini to get the stun to cancel the TP. We're able to land. There's going to be the stampede, though. Will it be enough? Mini trying to get away. He's got DOT on him, though, so he will still fall. And again, this stampede, it's not a tool that no runes think it is or e dead. This might be their opening. Have no runes found it. They're going to push their way forward. Hane getting out the Wukong's command. He doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but it's going to be enough to find a second kill as B9 goes down. Now they want more. The Yarn actually pushes in. There's the Avatars connecting. It takes the Monkey King out, but RCY has to do some serious work here. His BKB is active. His Firefly is on, but he's not finishing anyone off just yet. There's the last of the ones on the morph. That means Mini can't actually shift. And that is enough. The second out of here. B9 does still go down, so they find a target. Hane does have to sacrifice himself, but if he can get everyone else out, it'll be okay, but there's gonna be the lasso. Wait, not deployed just yet, actually. Here come the kisses as well, but the lasso does eventually catch. They've got the Morphling locked down, they've got the Morphling taken out, and everybody else has got to run. They get Heiko away. Serem, though, not looking so hot here. Tries to turn around for the cookie, and ambitious to try and go for the bat, but he realized he wasn't getting out either way. Right. 
it's an interesting cookie. It's not enough, but they did make an attempt at it. But yeah, the monkey's dead. No buyback available. Here's the thing for Dog Champ. They can't get Megas. There's still a tier two hanging out up top, and oh, the creep wave is being pushed out by the morph. So Minnie's doing everything he can to try and stave off this push. Radiance Courier has been killed. Well, I mean it's successful, right? The, the tower can't be hit up. But he died. He definitely can be. Just kind of that no runes can get out of all of that. Dog Champ are more than happy with it. Yes, they can. Okay. Big kill there. He's going to kill Serem. He's got Lasso. Guts. He can't be here anymore, but he got stuck. He's going to try to get himself out with a swashbuckle, but he is being chased. Meanwhile, Heiko in a fight with Yarn. He's going to stun and run, but that means Guts is left alone in the river. Waiting. Yep, they're gonna make the jump out of the morph link and they blow him up in time. Yes, they can. Minnie's dead. Heiko. That is so unfortunate. He sent his courier on a secret mission, ran it through the tree line.